Alright, how's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Eckham and welcome back to Undertale. So, I was in the middle of the boss fight with uh, Papyrus and I wasn't quite sure what to do, but I kind of, uh, I don't know, I just mercyed him a couple times and now he's starting different things, so I think I'm just going to try mercying him for a while. If not, I'll just uh, try different things, but there's a dog that comes up and he's like, talking to the dog. Hey, where are you going? Come back here with my special attack. Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. This is ring for a regular attack. Spare. This is my absolute normal attack. Absolute normal. There we go. Oh, oh, damn. Some of these are really, like, complicated. So I think I've been kind of doing the right thing. To, like, spare them or whatever. Oh, dog! Cool. Dude. Oh, it's a bone on a skateboard. Uh, what the? I'm st I'm floating? What? What the hell? Oh, well, okay. Drop me down. And the slow moving one? Is it gonna do something? Is it gonna, like, get super high? Oh, looks like I'm good. Hey, huff, huff. It's clear you can't huff to feed me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, I'd like to grant you pity! I shall spare you, human! Now's your chance to accept my mercy. So I can mercy him. I was so close to the end! I was very, very close to beating him. Nay, ho ho. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend qu quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Want to be friends? Yes. Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Hooey! We haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals? I was giving people awful puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you direction to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cabin. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king knows wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with the soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters, he is... Well, he's a big fussy, fuzzy pushover. Everyone loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Freemer, can I, Dreamer, what? Can I please go? He'll guide you right to the ba the barrier himself. Anyways, that's enough talking. I'll be uh, at home. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have the date. Nyehehehe. <laughs> Whoa. What was he doing just then? Was he like skipping or? I, he just like, fl he just like fluttered through the air. All right, so I gotta go through this cavern. Uh, nothing special, nothing special about this cavern. Sans is here though. Hello. This is the echo flower. It repeats the last thing I heard over and over. Yo, are you sneaking out of here, girl? Sometimes she's the coolest, right? I wanna be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Hey, <laughs> hey. This is Echo Flower. It repeats the last thing I heard over and over again. Even if it doesn't want to. So that rushing while water fills you with determination. Okay. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs mean twice as many quickly required breaks. <laughs> I'm going to grill me. Wanna come? Sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Ooh, he's gonna show me a shortcut? That shortcut, huh? Hey, it was just, yeah, it was just like the blink of a screen. It was like, you know, it wasn't like any time passed at all. Hey, Sans. Hi. Greetings, Sans. Hiya. Sansy. Sans! Me boy, old pal, come on over here. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get 
comfy. Whoops, I set that whoopee cushion down. Watch it where you sit. Sometimes we don't put whoopee cushions on the seat. Anyways, let's order. What do you want? Fries? Burgers? I want burgers. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Groovy! We'll have a double order of burg. Are they just gonna be like charred or something? So, what do you think? Of my brother. Uh, he's, of course he's cool. You're, you'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He only takes that thing off if he absolutely has to. Oh well. At least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> hey. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Sure. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup, the cap falls off, and all the ketchup in the bottle pours on your food. Whoops! Eh, forget about it! You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyways. I thank you. Anyways, pull it not. You have to agree, the virus tries real hard. Like how he tricked you trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the royal guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. He's so cool. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. And that is... Spotlight, please. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it. Echo flower. They're all over the marsh, saying something to them, and they're repeating it over and over. What about it? Well, the virus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, the flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement. Prediction weird, huh? Someone must be using echo flowers to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Wow, that got like serious for a second. I guess this game can get a little serious. Cause it's been all fun and games so far. Well, that was that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just oh, I can't. Just kidding. Kobe, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Sans, you were the best character. Oh, and now, and now he makes me have to walk all the way back. Library B. Virus, hello. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Are we going back to Grillby? Are we going back to Grillby? Um, my house. <laughs> All right. Ooh, he's got video games. All right, it's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Son, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. You didn't just say not to bring it back to my room. Forget it. Oh, that's the kitchen. I thought that was like a game console, I thought that was like, uh, like in Pokemon when you see the game consoles. Okay, it's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. It looks inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside, there's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Welcome to Scenic, scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. This is Sanjiv. Oh, that's... His if you finish looking around, we can go in and do whatever people do when they date. Yep, no. I, I, I'm much too young. Pixelated. Door's locked. Okay, I think I'm good. Press! Increase the height of my sink. <laughs> oh, that's a sink. I was like, what is this? I thought it was a cabinet. You fit more bones under it. Dog! What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. <laughs> Sans, 
Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Welcome to scenic, scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Alright, I think I'm all good. I got, got a little bit more time to burn in this part, so I'm basically just going to walk. Oh, come on. It's going to get all like that again. Nope, all good. Alright. Back to the cave, go on, continue. I wonder how long this game is. I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue. Save all the stuff I just did. Don't think it really matter, but I'll save it. Okay, continue on. This is a box. You can put an item in and take an item out. Would you, would you though? You can use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Oh, so I don't want to get hit by those. Okay. That's fine. I'm just... Okay. What is with my shadow? Oh, grass. Papyrus? You're not going to betray me. Hi, Undane. I'm here with my daily report. I, uh, think the human I called you about earlier. Uh, did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well... No. I tried my heart. I tried very hard. I tried my heart. I tried my heart! Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself. But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see? You see? Papyrus, no! I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. I don't think I was supposed to move. Um, I'm okay. I'm okay. What the? Yo, did you see that way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous. I can't remember what I was doing for his voice, but dude, what'd you, what'd you do to get her attention? Haha, <laughs> come on. Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh, he tripped. Are you okay? <laughs> Your face kind of stuck to the floor for a second. I'm feeling dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. All right, when four bridges seed align in the water, they will sprout. All right. So when four seeds align, so I gotta, I'm gonna have to start making pathways with these. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Uh, can't see. That. Oh, battle. Aaron flexes in. Yeah. Flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Tax increases for you two. Flexing contest. Oh, flex more. Is that sweat? My dodging sweat. I don't want to dodge your sweatiness. You ready for your next flex? Flex. Flex harder and flex is twice as hard and tag increases for you too. Won't lose. Oh, Sir Flexington. Oh wow, I can do it. For your next flex. You flex! Very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won! <laughs> I like that one. Alright, so I gotta make another path. I want to go this way, but do I have to connect four for sure? Yeah. Looks like I do. Okay. And arrows made the bell blossom call bridge seeds back to where they're. Oh, okay. So that's how that works. Okay, so I need to find a spot for four to go. So here? Oh, no, that's three. How about here? How about if I do this? Yeah, that'll be four. That'll be all good. There we go. Can I go in the waterfall? Bing! Hello! This is the virus! How did I, did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number se <laughs> sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, I probably pissed off a lot of people. What are you wearing? 
I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? What do you say? No. So you aren't even wearing a banana. Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. Wait, what am I wearing? Uh, I am wearing a bandana. I didn't know I was lying. Wishing room. It's a telescope. Alright. Washa? What is it? Clean touch joke. Clean. You ask Wash how to clean you. Hey, I'm surrounded sailing. Tweet! Green means clean. Uh, green heals me. Oh, uh, I can spare it. Spare it. Looking through the telescope. Yes. Ooh. Move around looking through the telescope. Check wall. So I gotta check this wall. Check it. Hey, doorway. Okay, what's this read? Ancient writing covers the wall. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. But did humans attack indeed? It seems that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. I would take the soul of nearly every monster. Just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. A power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with an unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There is something very unsettling about this term. Ooh, raft. I feel something is about to happen. I'm going to end the video right here because something is right around the corner. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please go down below and let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.